Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, uh, President Abdel Fattah El Sisi inaugurates uh, on uh, Saturday morning uh, a number of mega projects uh, in uh, Ras Sidr and uh, in Al Ain Sukhna and also in Al uh, Fayyum. The projects include Al uh, Fayrouz uh, Aquaculture. Uh, project east of Port Said uh, Governorate. Uh, pr uh, presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassam Radi said uh, that the project uh, east of Port Said is considered uh, the largest of its kind in the Middle East and shall add uh, uh, another achievement uh, to the long list of mega projects in uh, that is inaugurated uh, in uh, the past few years under the leadership of uh, President Abdel Fattah El Sisi. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have this uh, photo with uh, Mr. Rauf Gafar, the political analyst. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Gafar. Good morning to you, my dear. Uh, Mr. Gafar, now President Abdel Fattah Sisi is inaugurating today uh, um, uh, other mega projects to be added to the mega projects uh, that was really inaugurated uh, uh, since Prince Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, came to office. Uh, among them is uh, a mega project of uh, Al Fayrouz uh, Aqua uh, Culture that uh, is uh, uh, taking place in uh, east of uh, Port Said, and President Abdel Fattah Sisi is going to inaugurate these uh, projects uh, uh, via um, uh, video conference. How do you see the importance of this? Um, well, the, the policy uh, of, of mega projects has been very successful over the last years. Um, and me mega projects are very important. Uh, first of all, uh, they employ a lot of people, uh, so they give uh, an, uh, an opportunity for work for uh, a lot of people. Uh, normally, they are long-term projects, so they uh, satisfy the uh, uh, long-term development, uh, and this is number two. Uh, number three, uh, they aim to uh, self-sufficiency as far as food is concerned, and, and this is again something very important for our country to be to depend on ourselves for our food. So, uh, fourth uh, point is that uh, the selection of uh, the, 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 the locations is, again, one of the very crucial points. Uh, now you said this is uh, in the east of, of Port Said, so it goes within the development of Sinai, uh, which has been long ignored. So, uh, as you rightly said, uh, this, uh, the, the, these kinds of projects are uh, eating a lot of birds with one stone. So we hope that... Uh, uh, I'm sure we will see more and more mega projects being uh, implemented, uh, and uh, again uh, within the context of sustainable development and of the uh, betterment of the lifestyle of the uh, Egyptian citizen, uh, these are all projects uh, in, in this direction. Yes, uh, Mr. Gaffer, um, uh, also um, uh, uh, presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Rodi uh, mm -hmm. said that, that the project increases uh, the chances of uh, exporting uh, to the Arab and European markets, Absolutely. which would provide hard currency and support uh, the national economy. How do you read this? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, they work both ways. First of all, some of them are, uh, as I said, uh, aiming to self-satisfaction uh, as far as basic food is concerned, and uh, some others are uh, directed into uh, export, and, and this again, uh, first of all, as you said, will generate uh, hard currency, which, which we need in our uh, investments and, and development. And the second thing is that they, they substitute for the uh, uh, sort of uh, lack uh, or loss of hard currency that we incurred because of uh, the the the, the uh, COVID-19 and the repercussions on uh, tourism, etc., uh, which actually has affected the whole world. But Egypt is is uh, one of the countries affected by that. So, as you said, both ways uh, internally to 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 self-satisfy uh, the Egyptians. Uh, and uh, externally to uh, 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 generate the hard currency, sure.
Yes, uh, Mr. Gaffer, uh, also President Abd Fattah Sisi uh, today uh, is uh, inaugurating uh, via video conference uh, okay. the uh, animal production projects in El Nubaria and also in uh, El Fayum. Could you give us an idea or uh, illustrate on this uh, point? Uh, I tell you, uh, what I like here is that uh, this, these kind of, of projects, mega projects, I understand one of them is a dairy product uh, project. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, they are uh, care, the, the locations are carefully selected. So when you are uh, talking about uh, a consistent development, uh, it, it needs to be uh, well distributed uh, over the country. So you mentioned a project in Sinai, another one in, in, east, uh, in the west of the Delta, a third one in Upper Egypt. I mean, this, uh, again, uh, uh, representing the top opportunities uh, and then when it is carefully selected, it means that the, the consistent uh, and, and sustainable development is uh, reaching uh, uh, each one uh, in Egypt. So uh, I, I like about these projects is that uh, they are carefully uh, studied and uh, they are established uh, all over Egypt uh, so that uh, the, the, the sort of... Uh, 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 development uh, is, is distributed all over the country. So, uh, yeah. and, and again, these are all uh, projects uh, that are uh, focused on the uh, uh, well uh, uh, agricultural uh, production and uh, related uh, uh, industries, uh, which is again very important for. Egypt as far as uh, the internal market and the external market. Yes, I thank you very much for your time and for your valuable information, uh, Mr. Rauf Gaffer, the political analyst. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, joining us with this. Uh, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, uh, Breakfast Show. Thank you very much. I'm Amal Mukhtar, and I was uh, accompanied by my colleague, uh, Karim Gamal Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.